in front of all of you, you see a line of statues and flanking them on either side, these orbs that almost hum with a mystical energy. Marcus, it sets your wizard hairs on edge and your normal hairs as well. Oh. Uh, looking across the room, you can tell that, um, you can tell almost intuitively there is something happening here. However, you don't exactly know how to approach. You examine the room as the flower begins to fade away. What appears to be almost laser tripwires hanging in the air start to sort of twitch and curl a little bit, and you recognize that they're not necessary, uh, not necessarily steady beams. In fact, it appears to be almost conducted lightning between different locations. As a result, between the two orbs, they arc up and down, creating less of a laser grid and more of a laser jump rope. And eventually, the flower that's hanging in the air fades away, and the laser disappears from sight. So the lasers are specifically coming, like, between these mm -hmm. things? Is that right? Yep. Okay. yep. And, they're, and they're moving, correct? They are moving up and down and a mm. little bit to the left and right. I mean, we were lucky. They're gone now. <laughs> <laughs> How high up? How high up does this go? Does, does it go all the way to the ceiling? Does uh, it go up above the statues? Uh, it goes. They go up to about statue head height, but not okay. to the ceiling. Not to the ceiling. Okay. Okay. Great. Uh, to <laughs> uh, let's see here. There's got to be something I could do. Um. Oh, do you want to go? Do you want to go first, or Xanthi? Would you prefer to go first? Sorry, I, I just want to returning oh, to the yeah, normal yeah. turn order. Yeah, Xanthi. Uh, do, do you got an idea? Well, hmm. I think what we need to figure out is if these lasers are the go through them and they trip an alarm kind of lasers, or go through them right. and they go through you and cut you in half kind of lasers. Yeah, that is an important difference. So. I mean, do you want to find out, or do you just want to not hit the lasers? I think we should probably just try to not hit the lasers. <sighs> well, uh, okay. Yeah, that is the most <laughs> optimal solution. <laughs> I am curious. I, I am able to but, see them with my hmm. dark vision even without the flower yes. there, so I I might huh. be able to assist people with timing as they're going through these, but I'm I'm not positive of on the, uh, of that. I'm fact. shocked that you are an excellent jump roper. You look at Emil down the line, he looks over at you and flashes you a look. Did did something happen with jump rope? I uh, I seem to remember um, somebody who was exceptionally talented at jump rope back in the day. <gasps> Looks over at Harlock, excited. <laughs> I knew it. Drama. Nobody likes a braggart, Emil. <laughs> <laughs> Is it bragging if someone else boasts? Uh, thank you. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, you meant Harlock. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yes. yes, I was the champion uh, of free archy jump roping contests in the year of my sixth grade education <laughs> oh my god it was you <laughs> i uh i didn't realize that that competition existed <laughs> emil sort of steadies himself and like stands at his full height <laughs> having set the record straight <clears throat> okay i take it back this drama is boring <laughs> uh, is there some way we can obscure ourselves because I think I actually have a way to test what type of lasers they are. That's right. I'm pushing back. I think we know we need to know what type of lasers they are. <laughs> oh, you're pushing back. She's oh, pushing wow. Back. All right. Go walk through it. We'll find no, out. I have a way to test it. That's not walk throughing. <sighs> yeah. What, what's your what's your idea? I am interested now. OK, if we can hide ourselves, I can use my bag of creatures to send a rat through. Then, if it cuts it in half, we know it cuts it in half, and if it triggers an alarm and we're hidden, a guard will come up and say, oh, that's just a normal bank rat. <laughs> but then we have to- but Are there then, a lot of bank rats? I mean, it's half all Arani, so- <laughs> It is half all Arani. There's rats in everything they build. May <laughs> maybe we could fit behind the statues? That's my thought, yeah, or, or something to that effect. Oh, it's a tight we, fit. We'd really need to cram but in also, there. Also, this would mean sacrificing a poor defenseless rat, wouldn't it? Possibly. <laughs> yeah, do it with an imp. <laughs> no. I'd rather do it with a rat. <laughs> I'm sorry, rat. <laughs> yeah, hypothetical <laughs> rat. I don't really know the details of my bag of creatures. The thing might not even be real. <laughs> I, it could just be oh. created on the spot. So uh, It could summon out a 
human child to run down the hallway. That'd be <laughs> dark. <laughs> that would be quite dark. Let's hope that that doesn't happen. Yeah, what, can can we, we try and squirrel them? behind these statues? Yeah, let's 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 oh, sneak after, behind after the you, statues. After no, you, after you, after you. I'm no, so no, please, after, after you. After no, no, no. I'm sorry. I hope I can <laughs> squeeze in with my voluptuous figure. Oh, maybe is there not going to be room for everyone? Because in that case, I do have a way to get to the next uh, statues. Did you did you see that? She just said she just said that, and then waited for anyone to like engage with it. <laughs> no, if you just if you just let it die, then it dies. <laughs> Damn it! Why couldn't I get stuck? Chardonnay, Chardonnay. Well, I don't, I don't know where I should go sure. because it's okay. Go, go back here. Go, go hide with, go uh, hide with well, the man. No, actually, I have my own idea. Don't worry about me. Uh, she's gonna uh, magnetize herself and then throw one at the ceiling and <laughs> just slam into the ceiling. <laughs> you, you attach yourself there, and uh, you guys, you guys are all spread out. How hidden do we look? Reasonably hidden. <laughs> Not with your fat ass out there. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Xanthi, you're gonna summon your rat? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take my bag of creatures and open the opening to, like, approximately one rat size and kind of smack rat the size. bottom a little bit. Uh, you deploy a rat, and it scurries yes. forwards and runs between the, um, between the orbs, and then keeps going. And it runs down the hallway. And it keeps going. Hey, Marcus, did it get did it get hit by the laser? It's still going. It's it's, it's it has incredible luck. What? Yeah, the the laser almost you saw it as the rat ran under. It almost started to spark up around it, and then it let the rat pass, and the rat kept running. Huh? Huh? It it almost looks like it kind of let the rat pass. Maybe it maybe. Oh. It, Creatures that are small enough are disregarded. Maybe it's attuned so that it's yeah. rats. Yeah. Oh yeah, they must have contingencies for all the rats they already have. Of course. <laughs> um, does this mean we need to move to like a small dog size thing? What? Well, wait. What? It Why would a dog be here? I but I mean, know. the real question is: if it lets rats go, could you give us rat armor? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And then, like, it wouldn't zap because rats. <laughs> Not on such short notice. I don't know. Maybe because what if it could detect something that is many rats in the shape of a man? <laughs> I'll crouch. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Um. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So, so now that I'm on the ceiling, yeah. Um, it had been mentioned that the lasers go up to the head of the statues. Yes. How viable is it if I <laughs> keep on like? magnetizing yeah. uh, myself to the ceiling over and over again, can I keep myself above these lasers? Is that feasible? Or It seems like you probably could. It'd be slightly slow going, but yeah, you could mm -hmm. probably crawl your way across the top of the ceiling like this. So, I have solution while well, you guys are thinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My, my brain power. That's pretty cool, Chardonnay. That's as far as I get. <laughs> You'll be able to cross this, no issue. You just crawl your way over and deeper in. Uh, everyone else exchanges looks. I mean, like, anyone else have any ideas? Um, well, I think I can get across pretty easily, thanks to I wave my dagger of displacement around. Um, but maybe I can spot the rest of you as you go across. So here, let me try this. Um, I am going to take my dagger of displacement and kind yeah. of lob it between the wall and the orb here. Ooh, nice. Um, just so it goes past it, and then I'm gonna warp over to it. You warp right over? Okay. Um, I guess that worked. You now, move your... uh, paying attention to the lasers, are they, like, do they jump around in sequence, or is it random? It seems to be random. The, the best comparison I have is it's very much like the arcing of electricity. Okay. Imagine, uh, hmm. two lines of a Tesla coil. Mm-hmm. Emil looks over at Harlock. You left something out of the story, Emil. Mm. Not only was I the single double Dutch champion, <laughs> but you and I, we were the double double Dutch champions. <laughs> oh, my God. oh my God, it is them! <laughs> how, do you, how do you know about this, Chardonnay? Were you part of the competition? Oh, yeah. I was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> 
<clears throat> a meal and uh, But you're so good at cartwheeling. Not jump rope. <laughs> it's a totally... They're completely different disciplines, Marcus. Okay, Marcus, okay. I, just, I take it back. I take it back. Not to be rude. They are very different skill sets. I assume <laughs> alchemy and magic is different. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, okay. You have an excellent point, actually. <laughs> That's good to know. I wasn't certain. <laughs> <laughs> Emil, like, moves his way up. He's like, you, this is going to be so hard with my cane. This is going to be so hard with my arm. Um, understandable. Okay. We're not the children we used to be. <laughs> oh, no. Can I try and help them with the timing? I guess if it's random, probably not. You, you sort of can. You can try to provide okay. some coordination. In this case, Marcus, you look back and do this. Marcus, mm -hmm. give me a beat based on when the rope hits the ground. That'll be more than enough. Okay, yeah. Yes. No, I think I, I see exactly what you're saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm timing, timing each of these for roughly when it hits the ground. Marcus, perfect. Marcus, I'll give you, I'll penalize, I'll drop the DC by two points for Marcus beatboxing you across the laser grid. <laughs> Beatbox, please. <laughs> okay, Thank okay, you. okay. The two of you run forwards, jump, leap, Roll, land, prep yourself over by the next one. The two of you run forwards, jump, leap, and land right here. Okay. Xanthi. Man. I wish the rat thing had worked. We all do. All right. Well, the lasers kind of looked like electrical zappy lightning, so that makes me think that they're not the cross it and you're detected kind. Hmm. <laughs> that makes me hope that I'm right. Because, uh... Do you, do you want a beat? <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Okay. Santi's gonna try and jump through it the same way, but she doesn't have those double-double Dutch skills that the Harlock siblings have. So she's gonna activate her shield talisman. Oh, nice. Just in case. It's the zappy kind. Okay. You run, leap, Shield talisman's fine. You roll. You're on the next one. You're making it through. You guys have been pretty successful so far as you all roll forward. This plan seems to still be working. And I still can't see the lasers. <laughs> so... Don't worry. They're nowhere near you. Oh, thank gosh. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I, not interesting. She's still just going to like slowly scuttle away across the ceiling. <laughs> you start to cross by, you make your way over. Mm -hmm. Something very interesting is about to happen as you crawl your way over the top. You scoot your way past and the lightning arcs up and over and finding you almost like a lightning strike. You are drawn as the point of uh, resistance and you are for a moment blasted with lightning and you dive out of the way. You look back and your skin is all tingly and you uh you you almost like lose hold of the ceiling for a second and then just float there because you're magnetized and uh, you notice where the lightning struck, the arm of every single statue in this cube around the, uh, the group aims for that point and stabs at it. What? And then they all reach back and slowly retract. You get the feeling that the lightning burst is likely there to paralyze you, and then they all simply stab you to death. Oh. What a beautiful trap. Oh. The technique is quite impressive, actually. <laughs> it's horrifying! <laughs> this trap sucks. And the craftsmanship. Mm. Are you, this is garbage. A, I've a got a solution. Looks over at her. What's your solution? Everybody, get cozy with me. Uh, uh well, uh, let, me, let, me, let me pop over <laughs> and over. Um, I'm gonna... Okay, how cozy? Uh, cozy enough that this nice little shield talisman can protect you. Okay. Come on, come on, don't be shy. Okay, no, I will demagnetize. I don't bite much. <laughs> really, though, like, you don't want to be outside this. Take a look at Xanthi's teeth. How sharp? Uh, she, she legit has fangs. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's what I thought. <laughs> hey, Neil, you have to get cozy. 
<laughs> Come on, we should, don't, don't make it weird. We can, uh, how about we all just all take a step to the left here? <laughs> or two steps to the, that's good. One hop this time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh my uh, god. Does it, does it look like the little shield is surrounding everybody if they squeeze in enough? Yes, it looks like it will. Okay. Um, okay. Should I, should I give us a beat? Yeah, the, the best part of this is I'm at the center, so double shield, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's That's good for you. Okay, wonderful. Well. You realize you said, you said that out loud, right? We could all hear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was making you feel bad for not hugging me closer. <laughs> I know who the Patsy's gonna be after all this. Her name okay. is Xanthi. <laughs> <laughs>